You take this cake away from here. Who has life thrown at you to make you so cold and resentful? Now get out of my office. I said leave my office. believe what happened. Tell me what happened. The guy? King Kong is coming. You guys should better sit up. I need to. All right, all right, all right. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. And there goes King Kong. What's wrong with him? He doesn't smile, he doesn't say hello. Like, so, so annoying. I'm sure he's going to be very wicked. Guys, I know he comes over as all work, not play, but I believe there's a soft guy behind all that still. He might be going through a lot, maybe personal issues. What are you saying? He might be going through a lot. There you go again, Mrs. Nice. You always see something positive in everyone, even when it is obvious that Mr. Barnabas is a wicked man. You know, you're perhaps the only one who has hope for him. No, I don't judge people like that. Plus, I heard he used to be married. Hmm. So they say, but I find it very hard to believe. I've been working here for the past six months, and I don't even know what he looks like smiling. Do you think that kind of man can keep a wife? That can make him smile. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> I'm serious. That man practically walks past everyone in this office without saying hello or even smiling. You know what? If you can make him stop and smile, I promise I'm going to give you half of my paycheck. Really? Yes. Anyways, your money is just going to be an added incentive. You see? Surprise me, and deadline is a week or the deal is off. You think you're going to succeed? I bet you will not. Do you think it's because you're friendly with everyone you think you can talk to him? Fiona, calm down. Let's just wait and see. Guys, I better get to work. <laughs> yeah, right. Fiona, why is your system not on? I don't need it yet. Let me finish this. Oh, uh, all right. Listen, everyone. I just got promoted and I'm moving to a new position and a new office. That means that my position here in this department is going to be vacant and to be filled by one of you here. I will be considering your sales records and your personal qualities to fill this role. I have to the end of this week to do that. To so take note of that. That will be all for now. Okay, okay, sir. okay sir. And there he goes again without smiling. It's okay. Send this. Hello, Sonia. Come to my office right away. What is the meaning of this? I know what you're trying to do. You want to bribe me, right? I don't 
don't give bribes either. But I celebrate people who mean something to me. Now, I never told anyone about my birthday. So how do you come to find out about it? I, I found out after a long research on the internet. I guess you really didn't want anyone to know about it. And here you do. Now you do know about it. See, I don't know what it is you are trying to get at here. But for whatever it is, I don't want it. I would never be indebted to anyone, much less my own staff. Please, I don't want this cake. Take it away. Sir, it's just a harmless cake to celebrate your birthday. Will you shut up? <laughs> Who are you to tell me what is and what is not standing in my front here? But sir... I said shut up. <laughs> You're just too forward. I don't get your point. I said I don't want this cake. Take it away from here. your birthday. Would you take this cake away from here? What has life thrown at you to make you so cold and resentful? Now get out of my office. I said leave my office. Drop it and leave. I I sometimes wonder what life tries to you to make you so cold and resentful. Do you do you do you blame yourself for your wife's death? How dare you talk about my lady? Do you know I can fire me? It's not up to that. See, you have to let go of the past. I know you loved her. But if you don't let go of the past, you can't focus on the future. Okay, look, look at this now. You are always sad. You don't even have a good working relationship with your co-workers. And I am tired of being so scared to talk to you like a normal person. It's been years she passed on. Yet, you've refused to move on. Is this how you're going to continue to grieve? The funny thing is, I don't even know why I like you, but I do. I do. I do. Mr. Barnabas, I am not here for your promotion. I just want you to change. You can't, you can't keep living like this. Just, just, you, you can't. I'm sorry if you feel offended by anything I've said or what I'm saying or... I'm just, I'm sorry. But I just have to tell you the truth and I have to let you know how I feel. I'll leave you now. Hello everyone. How are you all doing today? Fine, sir. Um, please, Tina, tell Sonia to see me in my office. Um, sir, she's not around yet. Okay, when she comes, let me know. Okay, sir. Thank you. Wait. Did Mr. Barnabas just smile at me and also say thank you? Yes, he did. Oh my God, 
You owe Sonia. You know that's what it means. You owe Sonia. Okay, I'll have to put a call through to her. What? Wow, what did she do? I'll be back. Hello, Sonia. You are a genius. You did it! You won't believe what just happened. Mr. Barnabas just walked into the office and said hello to everyone. He was even smiling. And girl, he is asking of you. So you better get your ass here now. Wow. Welcome, girl. Thank you. So, today is the last day in this department for me and I know I haven't said this before but you all are the best team I've ever worked with. You know, I must say I really appreciate your work and it has really helped me to my current position. You're welcome, sir. And I also heard the rumors too, Mr. King Kong. I know, I know, I deserved it. You know, I was going through some personal issues and I took it out on everyone. Yes, it's not a reason to do that, but I know you all would forgive me. Please accept my apology. Apology accepted, sir. So, um, to the head of marketing position, I have found somebody who I believe is competent enough amongst you all. Uh, someone who is loving, cares for every other person, you know, all before self, doesn't take bribes, who is very diligent. And at this moment, I want to let you all know that Miss Sonia here would be the new head of marketing department. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. you see, I held on to the past for so long and I didn't think I deserved anyone's love. But you helped me. The way you talked to me and showed so much concern helped me to be able to free up of all those pasts. I really appreciate it. You're welcome, Bob. Now that you're the head of marketing, would you be able to find time in your busy schedule to go out with a guy like me? For you, I'll create time. I look forward to that. Sure. Thank you very much, all. That'll be fun. Wow. Sonia. <laughs> How? What did you do? I don't know. What can I say? <laughs> you really deserve it. Congratulations once again. Thank you. Wow. What? I'll be back, guys. <laughs> 